Hey everybody, Jared back again. So I wanted to show you something really cool that I discovered today in a kernel that I just flashed uh, from Team7. There'll be a link in the description below this video. So you go ahead and download it and explore and have some fun. Um, but basically what this kernel allows you to do uh, aside from many other things, is turn your HTC logo into a capacitive button. Now, generally speaking, if you have an HTC One, you go into the Play Store, for example, you'll notice that it usually has a little three-dot overflow menu button there up at the top right-hand corner. And the same thing can be said throughout various other applications. Sometimes even you get a black bar across the bottom with just a three-dot overflow menu option there. Well, this kernel allows you to touch your HTC logo and turn it into a capacitive button. In this instance, a menu button. Um, as you can see here, I'm just pressing it. So apparently this entire uh, spot down here is a capacitive panel and um, just above the HTC logo itself is still capacitive there. So I'm actually not, it's not, you know, necessarily the HTC logo, as you can see, I'm pressing there. It's literally just above. So when you are pressing it naturally, um, your finger does actually go, you know, in the black there, um, if you will. So activating the menu button. Now, what's interesting about this kernel is that um, it's got a ton of other really cool options that you can uh, muck around with during the aroma installation process, which actually, if you watch the end of this video, um, I'll, I go through, uh, I sort of go a little walkthrough on how to install the kernel. Uh, nevertheless, um, you can do like sweep to wake. So if your display is turned off you can go ahead and just kind of go like that across the screen and it'll wake it up for you You can long press the home button there it'll wake the device for you you can also alternatively use the HTC logo as uh, to sleep the device put the device into sleep so instead of reaching up all the way to the power button all the way up there at the top you just go ahead and long press on the HTC logo and it'll put the device to sleep um, I don't necessarily need any of that for me I have no problem reaching up to the power button in fact I kind of like it there um, I just liked it to have it as a menu button so I mean if we were to go into the camera application as an example as you can see there it's opened up and I was just to hit that boom it opens up the uh, the menus for the for the, for the camera button or for, I'm sorry for the camera application so uh, really neat stuff um, from uh, some XDA developers so head on over to the link in the description below and um, go and check it out, download it. You can actually overclock this particular kernel to 1.9 gigahertz. So I do plan on doing um, some more videos on custom ROMs for the HTC One in the future, and I'll probably be testing out maybe this kernel and another kernel that I've noticed uh, also has this particular feature built in as well. That's it for now though, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, shoot me some love, hit that likes button down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future if you haven't already, and follow me on Google Plus and Twitter to stay up to date on all things the smoking android that's it thanks again for watching we'll see you the next one cheers guys Alrighty, let's flash this kernel so go ahead and turn your device on long press power button if you want to you can go ahead and press reboot uh, now if you don't have a, a custom rom that allows you to boot right into recovery what you can go ahead and do is just press the reboot button and while it's doing that hold down the volume down button and that'll bring you into the boot uh into the boot menu and We'll just wait for that to happen. There we go. Go ahead and select recovery. Now, this is obviously assuming that you've already pushed the kernel file over to your uh, internal SD card, to the root of your internal SD card. And um, I do recommend going down and uh, making a backup. Okay, just in case something goes wrong, then you know you're covered. However, I like living on the wild side and I have a backup of something different. So we're gonna go ahead and I am going to, what you always wanna do, at least what I recommend, is to uh, wipe cache. And we'll just wait for that to complete, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and install and we'll choose zip from, in, from internal. Scroll on down and we'll go ahead and locate. There's our Team 7 uh, custom kernel. It's the performance version four. And we'll go ahead and uh, let that install. It's, uh, it's an Aroma installer, which I love. So there's the logo there. We'll wait for that to boot right into the Aroma menu. And away we go. We'll click on Next. Click on Next. Oh, and it seems it's frozen on me. All right. Uh, it froze on me. For those of you, uh, sometimes the ar Aroma seems to have done that to me on the HC One quite a few times. If that does happen, it's no big deal. Just... Uh, long press down on the power button and the uh, volume down rocker and eventually you'll get back into that boot menu where you can uh, go ahead and boot into recovery. So anyways, we've gone past there. Uh, this is the change log. And uh, have an Android ready on your SD card just in case. And uh, unlock the bootloader via HTC or S off. Go ahead and click on next. And uh, this is where you can actually select, and I'll go ahead and zoom in now for you guys. 
Um, this is actually where you can go ahead and select uh, the different modifications that you want that this uh, kernel to boot into. So we've got home to wake, uh, logo to menu, home to wake and logo to sleep and so on. There'll be a list that'll explain everything um, on the thread, on the XDA thread that I'll be posting in the description of this video. Uh, so go ahead and make your choices there. All right, so once you've made those choices, uh, you can go ahead into this next screen here, remove three dot menu for the logo to menu mapping. So seeing as we're gonna be turning our HTC logo into the menu button uh, in this particular setup that I'm doing, um, you can go ahead and get rid of that annoying ass three dot menu button that always, uh, that bar that appears at the bottom of um, applications. Uh, furthermore, you also have uh, blinking buttons for notifications. So basically your capacitive buttons will actually start to pulsate uh, when you receive notifications. That's super cool. So I'm going to give both of those a tick. Go ahead and click next there. And we're ready to flash this. So anyways, guys, that's all you have to do to install it. Um, it's ready to go. Go ahead and click next here. And we're finished. It'll go ahead and boot our phone.